Hi, welcome to Beadwork Tutorial Tuesdays. Today is not so much um, an intense tutorial. I am going to show you, I'm just gonna kind of show you what I'm beading. I'm gonna show you how I'm beading it. I feel like when learning, a really effective way of learning is to watch someone do it and then try it yourself. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm beating this. I'm gonna go over supplies, just so you can watch and learn and then go try it yourself. So let's get right into it. All right, let me get my setup going. Okay. All right. So supplies I'm using, two types of needles. I'm doing the two needle flat stitch, two needle embroidery, it's called many things. Um, I'm using two sizes of needles. The first is a size 12, the second is a size 10. You don't really need two different sizes, I just prefer to. So the size 12 is going to be a smaller needle. This is the one that I'm going to use to string on the beads. That is, where is it? This one. I'm stringing on beads with the size 12 and then I'm tacking them down with the size 10. Just, it's easier for me to, if I'm looking at these, I can kind of see yeah, this one's a little smaller. This one's a little bigger. I can just separate them easily, easier in my mind. On camera, they probably look exactly the same. <laughs> so with two needle flat stitch, that's what I'm gonna call it, there's a stringer, like I just said, and we're gonna string on some beads. I am doing this black and white pattern. Um, when you're doing beadwork, I feel like just a simple black and white. Oh my gosh, I just really, <laughs> darn it. I just realized that this one I did two, so two white, two black, two white, two black, and this one I'm doing one. One white, one black. Oh well, we're gonna keep going. So let's see, I was at black, so white, black, white, black. Sometimes in my head if I'm going through colors, if I'm doing like light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark blue, that's a lot to keep track of in my head, so sometimes I'll just go light, dark, light, dark in my brain just light dark if i'm um what do you call it going opposite colors that makes more sense just do what works for you where was i so white dark white dark light this is what takes the longest light dark light dark light dark light dark light dark <laughs> i'll probably try and put on like i don't know i'm not even counting probably like between 30 and 50 beads uh okay light dark light dark if, you're th if this is boring you feel free to fast forward <laughs> dark light dark all right this will be good so here's what you do string them on, push them all the way down. And here's a little trick when you're going around the corner. I like to, do you see that? Make a straight line, put the needle in on the straight line. So I'm not, I'm not curving it around and then poking the needle in. I'm putting it on the straight line, poking it in. And you want to know why? That's because it's going to leave a little bit of slack. So now when I you see when I push the beads out to the circle, there's that little bit of slack right there. That is going to make it easier for me to tack all these down. Because if I put it right there, these beads could start to like bunch up when I start putting the thread, this tacking needle thread in between. Let me explain. So what I do is I hold this thread underneath real tight. I wrap it around my finger and I use my thumb to guide the beads where I want to go. And I already have this like pre-drawn line. I probably should have explained how I assembled this and like what I am beating on. I have that explained in other videos. I'll go over it though anyways. So I am beating, first of all, I'm gonna tack down every two needle, or every two beads using my thumb to guide the beads where I wanna go. But I am beating on something called Pelon Peltex 70. It's like this fabric stabilizer and it just makes a really nice surface to beat on. I drew my design on a piece of graph paper. I feel like graph, 
paper makes beading, it just takes a lot of the thinking out of it, getting a nice even design. Anyways, I drew my design on graph paper and I sewed it onto the pellet using this nylon thread. That's what I forgot to say. I use nylon thread. I feel like it tangles less. It also melts if you want to singe down any loose ends. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, that's nylon, Nymo size D nylon thread. So I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna tack down every two beads until I get to the end. I know you can do this. This is really easy. The hard part about beadwork is the design. I always say that. Once you have the design set, you're set. All you gotta do is beat it. <laughs> Beading is, to me, a form of therapy. Just this repetition of tacking down every two beads is very calming to me. I don't have to think about it. In the beginning, you might have to think about it, but honestly, after a few times, you really get the hang of it and it becomes almost therapeutic. You wanna know, I'm not gonna say almost therapeutic, it is. It's the calm at the end of my day. <laughs> All right, I'm getting close to the edge. Do you see that I'm using my thumb to guide those beads? I'm also keeping them pressed together so they're not spreading out a whole bunch. Okay, and I'm kind of, I'm probably on camera, you can, can't see it that well, but I'm following this pencil drawn in line. I don't like to use markers anymore. I used to use markers because they were easier to see, but when I, Back the, when I back this in like a white leather hide, oops, I think I missed a couple, it bleeds through. So when you're drawing your final template, I suggest using pencil. Okay, last two. So let's close this off. I like to take this out. You can even come, you don't have to take this out. I just had a little too much slack. You could even, if you don't have that much slack, you could come back up through that previous bead. Does that make sense? All right, so I was on dark. Let's go light, dark. I have no idea how many I need. I'm just going to throw a few on and if it's too much, I will take them off. If I need more, I'll add more. Okay, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light. A few more. What was I on? Dark, light, dark, light. Hey, LJ, I'm making a video, buddy. Dark, light. Let's see where this is at. Okay. I think I am. See how it's exact? I don't want it to be exact. I want at least one less bead, probably even two less beads. I really want to make one less bead work though, because that would match up exactly dark to light. If not, that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I could poke it through and I know that I could make this work, but just in case, I'm going to just poke the needle down. Let me show you something. I'm going to poke this down. I'm going to tack them down because, okay, see there's that straight line. Remember the straight line? Because, I forgot what I was talking about. Shoot. <laughs> Anyways, let me tack these down. Oh, yeah. I, I, I poked that needle down instead of going through them in case I need to take a bead off. It's gonna be much easier to take a bead off the end if I just have to pull that up rather than trying to fish that needle through those beads. Does that make sense? Okay. So tack down every two. I'm really this time pushing my thumb to keep these beads pressed together so it fits in there. It's kind of a close call. Kind of a close call. I probably am gonna to have to take that last white bead off. All right. 
And again, try to do every two beads. If you do every three, that's fine. I've noticed if you get if you try and tack down every four, they get kind of like loose, you know what I'm saying? So I like to tack down every two. It just makes sure oops, all the beads are evenly tacked. And oh, major thing that I forgot to tell you. Always keep this end loose. This tacking needle has a loose end. And always keep it loose. Just always pull it through. You know what I mean? Always pull it through. So there is a single thread that's tacking down the beads rather than the double thread. Okay. So this is going to work. I am going to pull this out. And now I'm going to fish it through just because I know it's going to work and I'm not going to have to go back and pull that through. Okay. If I can get it through. Yes. So I'm going to go through probably, let's see, three or four. Well, five. <laughs> All right. So it makes a nice, even circle. And let's go right real close to that. Yeah. Press it through. And then we will finish, hold this nice and tight underneath, finish tacking down the last of these beads. Okay. And then I will pretend that we need new threads. Always show that. That's an important step. So say, uh oh, my threads are too short. I got to start over. All you do is snip them, tie them both. So this one's just the single. The tacking thread is just a th single thread. Then the double thread is the, the stringer needle. Okay. I like to always double knot. A double knot is much more secure than a single knot. I'd rather have a big knot than a small knot that's gonna fall off. So on the back here, you don't really have to worry about singeing ends. Sometimes if you're doing like wrap edging and you need to start a new thread, you can singe nylon thread down, it melts. You can singe it down to lighter. So anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful just to watch someone bead and now you can go to your own beadwork and give it a shot. I will see you guys next week for Beadwork Tutorial Tuesdays. Talk to you later.